rules what snitching is because they're not of this lifestyle and they of a square lifestyle, so they think that the glitz and glamour is perfectly fine. Nobody's mad at you, homie, but you you don't have a voice. You don't give people a platform like that. You know what I'm saying? So my family ain't gonna give dude a platform. Right. And dude has done little dumb shit like they box us and we try to hey, you know, cone cone bullshit, but Listen, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and see your motivation. What schools do you be speaking at and stuff? I speak at home. Um, I speak at uh, potential schools. Because I work with Good Shepherd Services, so through all my contracts, I can do everything. So I'm always in high schools, elementary schools, middle schools, church and all that. So I speak at um, potential schools. I speak at um, Good Shepherd Services. Okay. I speak at um, Good Shepherd Services. I speak at 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 Good Shepherd Services. Invested in your inner self, like feeling good about yourself and not allowing outside people to dictate who you are based on what you don't have or based on how you grew up or based on the family dynamics. So I'm all about uplifting these kids, man, promoting these kids to be the idea of self. And that's just my goal. I don't care about the devils in the street shit. I got, a, I got a program called the Honor Your Life Campaign, right? Mm -hmm. And like I said, I got contracts and workshops with the schools here in Philadelphia. Um mm -hmm. I can speak for two schools that I know that I'm assigned you on to, you know, you just, you don't even got to pay for your car fare, nothing out here or whatever. I know you might got your own will and all that, but I ain't worried about none of that, but we'll have you come here and pay you to speak to the, our youth. You know what I mean? I'll pay it out my pocket. I'm not, it's not going to be something that we talk about the day. Then next week you seeing me just snatch your eye and it's like, this board has had a conversation with me to have a conversation and there ain't no honor behind it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to have an answer for you on that. Most likely tomorrow afternoon. All you would nine times have to do if you have one of those, um, I think it's what kind of app. It's like a Google Drive app where you can put up like 15 minutes of what you will be talking about. Um, it's like basically like a workshop. You know what I mean? Oh, listen, a chess joint. I got a brother who got, I had, had him come along with me. His name is Rock. He do a chess chat joint. He's a good chess player, but that's part of our, one of our programs too over here is chess chat. So this going to fit perfect. I'm honored to have you a part of it. We're going to do it and we're going to make sure that I'm going to make sure that every vlog that I do, I mention the family business. It's only right that I do that because it ain't about the money. It's about the legacy continuing, bro. That's I, it. I would want somebody to do it for my child. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know what you do for the people? Just from my perspective, right? Right. Because I sit back and I watch. I just started following you. I'm not into social media, but my cousin, um, he's into, he always talked me about you. I think we met you and know you somewhere somewhere. Right. Well, I'm sorry. So he was, he was looking at this and I'm like, you know what? He been sending me videos. I'm like, I'm not into this shit, man. I don't care about it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> like, just being honest. But one thing I learned in listening to you, right? And I go, damn, I like this guy. Why? Because you're the voice that, you're the silent voice that nobody wants to turn the volume up to. Right. You know what I'm so they, people think of this, but they don't actually speak it. Why? I don't know why people aren't speaking this beyond me. But the words that you speak is what a lot of us, I guess, real individuals are thinking. My whole thing is, I'm really, like, you're really a street dude, so you have that knowledge, and I'm, I'm really a street dude. So therefore, my thoughts and opinions should never be on social media, you know what I'm saying? Right, no doubt. No, you're right. Bro, you I, I, hey, listen, I'm going to tell you the truth, right? I was in the Fed, so when I came home, and I was in a halfway house, I already was speaking about not doing the skinny jeans, and not doing... The um, social media thing, right? Yeah. So I had been down so long, I lost my whole immediate family and stuff. I was like, man, I got no, I, they gave me a phone. And they was like, yo, you can go to Facebook and you know, you can ex express yourself. So it started off with me like saying a little stuff of, you know, I might have been stressing and might express it on a, online, but I wasn't like getting detailed. After a while, it was like people was, you know, I had a, I had a movement called Jail Lovers. And that movement, I, don't, I know you probably heard about the Philly rapper AR app. He kind of took a liking to my, my movement and me and him was doing things positive where we was helping the youth. 
And he was like, yo, I can't believe it, but I know you're serious. You're not really faking or playing about it. And bro, he, I came home from jail. He, he said, yo, King Erner's back. We're happy to have you back. And from then on, man, it, it just took off, bro. It took off. I started my campaign in the community, over 65 speakers to the children. You know, doing it in action, like you said, instead of us talking, I look at honor as the word, like honor is the action to loyalty. How can you say you honor a person and you don't have the action to it? You know what I mean? So we're going to do it, man. And I'm going to make sure, I just want to make sure it was cool because I didn't want to, um, I knew how the family was. I didn't want to go ahead and be saying stuff and putting stuff out. And they'd be like, yo, Cloud chase a ball, sit down. I just wanted y'all to know like, no, nah, that ain't really my thing. Of course, the internet go give me that. But I always tell people this. I'm most hated on the internet, right? But if the internet, if the internet liked anything I done, bro, how could I even have honor next to my name? You know what I'm saying? The internet can't not like nothing. They can't like what I'm doing. I'm opposing those who are harming or, you know, backdoing individual that got some honor, like your, like your dad. So if they like me, then I, it's, I'm doing something wrong. I love it that they don't like me. Oh, F him. Why is he so much on it? So what? I'm going against the grain. I'm going against the social norm. Exactly. That rat, now that's a rat there, that's a... Living by, you know, one of those, like... One of those things that, <laughs> that it, it make you look like, what is the world, what would be the, what, all these gangsters, all these quote-unquote street dudes, who would they really honestly be without Rich Porter swag? Right. I'm disappointed at how things have matured. So I don't live by society standards or society rules. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't pay attention to how society governs themselves based on whatever star status symbol of somebody. I don't know. That's not me. I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? My life, my life journey is what it is. Hey, man, your life is a honor from. Your life is a honor from what you got going on because you really got the example. Your dad was really Rich Porter. So. I all the time. I was a young kid that, that you know, grew up admiring my dad based on all the stories I heard. When he passed away, I was eight years of age. So I admired it when I, you know, I was a kid on the sidelines. Like, coach, put me in the game. Put me in the game. Yeah. You on your way to the top now, you know what I'm saying? Based off of what you're doing, these everything. Are the same, these are the same principles that my father stood for. This is why I'm a likable guy, very sociable. People love me, I'm very charismatic. I give back all the time. I don't need the camera on me to take a duffel bag for the clothes and make sure the homeless in the hood and home have clothes. I don't need to spend. I don't need a camera on me to go get three, four hundred dollars worth of food, come back home, make this shit, make a bunch of plates up and just go outside of my car and handle the meals up. I don't need the culture for that. I do that shit because it's in my heart, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no doubt. I'm with you. And I like I said, my, my, my main focus from what I what I've seen, uh, like what you and your family got going on, it's like, damn, I gotta get this out that these young people are on this and not on that. You know what I mean? Like, so many people would expect for y'all to be shoot them up, bang, bang, even after you finding out about, you know, how, you know, what the streets going to give back after a while. Even after that, 
and then going and doing what you're doing, man, my, I, not only do I salute you, my hat go off to you, I honor you, and I'm going to make sure that I'm a part of helping you get around. Like, I know you don't need my help. I know y'all self-sufficient. But at the end of the day, I want to do that because if I can earn off of protecting the fact that somebody try to dishonor a good person, I feel as though y'all should be able to get a piece of the earn too. It's only it's only right, you know what I'm saying? It's only right that it's only honorable. So you talking from a perspective that I can identify with. And right. This is where a lot of these dudes can't get close to us a lot of these niggas want something. You know, dudes want to get next to us and get something from us. Right. got some old pictures. Yo, you got some stories I can run with. Yo, you got some, you know. Um, Sad. Yo, you got an album named Rich Porter. You know, you got a mixtape named Rich Porter. You got this and that. Like, I had to, I had to go put a stop to Jim Jones of making a Rich Porter 2 album. Damn. My people ain't get paid for that. You mean to yeah, tell me yeah, he didn't yeah. even have the honor and giving up nothing? Nothing. But mind you, I'm in the street. And at that time when he dropped that first mixtape out with the Rich Porter, said I was in college, I'm working two jobs, I'm being a father, and I'm telling myself, I know these dudes are soft, so if you look at me wrong, I'm going to go in your mouth, so I don't want that energy. So I stayed away from everything. Like, I'm not going to sit there, like, I don't want to get, I know y'all soft, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, I know y'all, so once a, one phone call, and I'm, and I'm somewhere, and everybody get nervous. Yeah, I know what I'm about. Yeah, they paranoid. They panicking, man. They panicking. Yeah, you know, I, don't, I don't have friends. I don't got friends. I tell, I got family. Like, my friends are considered my family. Nigga, I ain't do 12 years by myself. My friends is my family. See, so you can rub shoulders with me all you want to, but you brought me the wrong way. I'm going to go in your house. Because I, 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 I really do this. I went to jail at 16, came home 28. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Damn, that's deep. 16, you went in there 16, come home 28. And there. I wasn't in that motherfucker, this motherfucking tube in my thumbs. I was in there fucking grinding up these knuckles on my niggas. Right. <laughs> you know and but that, I, pressure. Hey, bro, I tell everybody that, Donnell, like, when you go to jail, it's either going to be against you or for you. It's no way you should come home with no brain. It's the best college you can ever have, jailers. So, <laughs> you, man, old, listen, when I speak to people earlier, you know what I tell dudes? That dude that had 25 years in, went home, came back because he tried to do a good thing for somebody else. When he came back, you know what he told me? Uh -huh. He was like, come here, man. Let me tell you something, man. I said, I'm seeing you run around here for all these years in these jails, different jails, getting in all my trouble. He's like, young boy, you don't know how much fucking juice you got? You got enough juice to make all these niggas run behind you. Get a fucking book. Go to the library, but you don't even know how to use the powers you got, shorty. Damn, that's, that's deep. Like, and that shit haunted me for like the whole week before I went back to that home. A dude was like, explain to me what you meant. And Damn. He sat me down. He said, give me every Saturday of yours. I'm going to teach you something. And at that time, I was in the, I was tired of turning up, so I turned down. Every Saturday morning when he locked us out, he said, what are we doing? I'm like, come sit over here and talk to you. He taught me business, he taught me common sense, he taught me leadership, you know what I'm saying? He taught me certain things that I didn't have because I was just a... This conversation has humbled me to to like, because I, I, I do the school thing, right? But I haven't been pushing the envelope like I supposed to, like making sure I get a lot of jobs and stuff like that. But just the conversation put me in a mindset that I know for a fact, bro, there's no way after this phone call... Could I ever, ever, ever not, you know, go forward and making these things happen still? Because the youth need us more than anything. And for you to be the go away at 16 and come home at 28, to be Rich Porter's son and say, man, after my jail bit, I learned that I was a man and I got to be a better man. Straight up. Damn, that's deep. If like, Because you got to realize how many people follow your dad. You know what I'm saying? So all these people that follow your father... They look up to him. The ones that's like myself that went to jail and came home and said, damn, Rich Porter was an honorable dude. Imagine him as a doctor. Imagine him as a lawyer. Imagine him as a scientist. Imagine him as, you know, even a political rev person that helped revolutionary. You know, things of this nature. 
and you are it. That's what you are doing. This is the example that you're setting forth. So the world get a hold of that and it's like, we got to follow that. And we ain't even honoring what nobody else said, what nobody else is doing on Instagram or YouTube, whatever clout that everybody else is chasing. It's going to go down in history that Rich Porter children wasn't chasing that clout. And it was based, basically doing things to make sure that they stood on a sturdy foundation. I honor and I, and I salute you for it. And I salute those women, bro. That's yeah, deep, man. Them women. Man, they soldiers, bro. Yeah. They stronger than the men. You got to look at it. Here it is. We had, I, my, my dad wasn't in the streets, but my mother was. And mm -hmm. here it is. I looked up to my mom, don't get me wrong, to the highest degree. But. The street thing didn't last. It was temporary. But what my dad had going on, it lasted forever. And what my grandmother taught me and what she raised me to be is lasting more than anything negative that I could ever, you know, give to life. So my, my, my hat go off to you, bro. I got to get you here soon. Um, I got to I got to get people to log on to the website. And um, shop at the rich strands, and yeah. we gotta do that because I want to make that the same way I'm selling this Seamoss man, and I'm Seamoss yeah. go to you and your family for free. Y'all don't gotta worry about that. I know y'all probably y'all the type of people. Oh man, we ain't worried about that. We want to support. No, I want to yeah, give. Support, so I want to give you. I I sold a lot of Seamoss, a lot of Seamoss <laughs> based off of dishonoring. That kitten name we ain't gonna mention. You dig me? But I saw a lot of CMOS based off of that story. And who's better to get the honor to it than your family? When we hang up, I'm gonna make sure that my wife and myself, we're gonna sit back. We're gonna buy something from the website tonight. Um, yeah, dude, we appreciate that, definitely. You dig me? And I just, that. like, you know, I would never put out no type of conversation where... It's a, you know, where it's like, yo, like looking for no views or mentioning that rat outpo or anything like that. But yeah. I do want the people to know who you are, though. I do want the people to know the good in you. Forget all the street stuff. I want to I want everybody to know how the strong women, how Pat, yeah. how Angela, how your mother, how all yeah. of them, including his daughters. Raina, how Raina, my other sister's mother, my mother Robin. And yeah. Miss Robin, yeah. Angela. Whatever, whatever needed from me, um, yeah, man. Like, um, you know, this is something that, you know, like I said, I don't, if you look at my social media page, I ain't with the drama, champ. Like, right. you know, I wake up every day, man. I ain't in prison. You know what I'm saying? I, I was there with niggas, but he ain't never coming home. I got a little brother, 27, in the feds right now. Got 16 then, you know what I'm saying? Damn, you know, how, how, what jail he at in the feds? He in school kill right now. Oh, he in school kill. Okay, okay, school kill. Yeah. Shout out to him, you know what I mean? Hopefully he come home soon, man. Yeah, he got he had 27, 16 then, but that's ordering two cops killed, you know what I'm saying? Like, Damn, that's we amazing. We're we not out here trying to intermingle. We out here trying to be the best self we can, because we we've been raised by some great women, you know what I'm saying? Soldiers. We some poor choices at early ages in our life. So hey, listen, I haven't <laughs> seen none of these women act like the women that grew up in that era. That's out here cloud chasing. I haven't seen none of these women doing that. I've seen these women, obviously, Robin, who's your mother, Angela, who's your si your, your sister's mother, and Raina. And, and Raina. Obviously, these women are great women because Rich Porter chose good women to, to, to have in his life because look at the children. That's how you know good people. Look at the outcome of the children and look. Look at you! Look, look, look at the good that y'all doing, man. Yeah. I, I honor it. I'ma blast it so I can't blast it no more. All the good. We're gonna make sure. I'm even gonna stop giving that kid in the platform. Yeah. Because it ain't about him. It's about That's rich. What he wants, because people make him relevant. He can't make himself relevant because he a rat. Right. Who 
making relevant by talking about him. Yup. By keeping his name in the, in the ears of people. Because these young kids don't know. They hear, oh, bro, he was doing what? And they associate him with his sport because they don't know the two because they don't know the difference. You know what I mean? That's they deep, bro. That's deep. That's deep. Beyond it being deep, I'm thankful that God when put... Read, when you read some... I'm sorry to cut you off, but when you read some of these comments sometimes about how people just want to entertain it, I go, these young kids don't even know no better. They like, oh yeah, Alpo is the truth. Yo, my name Alpo, yo. Yo, my name Alpo. They, they copy in their Instagram pages. My name Alpo Martinez. I'm like, oh, like y'all don't even know no better. Like, what are you doing? They don't even have the clue that, well, I think I honestly believe that somehow that kitten was put in a position to believe that when he came home, he's the guy that was in, um, what was that movie, uh, Belly, when, when DMX was talking to the black man, and he was like a fake Farrakhan type guy he was talking to him, and he was saying like what the government was trying to get him to do. I believe that that rat somehow was pushed that like, yo, listen, when you go home, you got to kind of promote being this type of individual in order for your own generation. So he's really an Uncle Tom. He's got his a Benedict Arnold to his own people because he's trying to get children to follow that. Yeah. That was the whole clip he just done recently with that, that kitten, Troy Reed, whose honor is through to the moon and it could never come back down. He couldn't come back down off the moon if he had a ladder. You hear me? Yeah, I I'm, I'm, I I'm, I actually, I might run down and catch this nigga this week and I just heard he was the one behind his documentary. I'm like, oh, bro, I've just seen the nigga a couple of months back. Right. And shit, I didn't know all of this, but now I do, I just might need to slap your head off your shoulders. Yeah, but like you said, though, like you said, at the end of the day, them dudes are failures. They're trying to live off of they're trying to gain the momentum off of what they couldn't get from you guys because they couldn't reach out to y'all, get the story like they wanted to. They're willing to get the story from whatever, whoever that can give it to them, long as they're a rat. <laughs> think, about, think about this claim to fame. So you come home after doing time, and what's the story? This story ain't about how you went to jail, how you was a kingpin. This story ain't about how many bricks you sold. Your story ain't about how many niggas you snitched on and why you snitched on them. Your only claim to fame is that you killed Rich Porter. Your documentary, I didn't see it. I didn't care to look at it to see it. It's about how you killed Rich Porter and why you killed him. And it still didn't even do what you would have expected. All the vloggers and stuff, they try to jump on it. But I know that I have deteriorated everything that he has to move on. And you know, I'm not a regular guy by the camera. So I made sure that I gave Miss T, you know, the chick or whatever. I gave her, bro, my real address. She She did some shit. She don't have no honor, but I gave her my real address, right? I sent her, because I, like her book, I knew that she was like, oh, can you get my book? I say, damn, I'm going to support it. Only because I wanted to give her my address. Yeah. I give her my address, hoping the kitten show up, and he's a no-show still. But I, I, I pray, because it's something in Pennsylvania we got called Castle Doctrine. <laughs> and brother, that kitten ever, ever stepped door past my threshold or anywhere that I have. Like, I got a big yard and everything like that, too. I'm just waiting to see the kitten even walk past the yard. <laughs> and I'm going to make him famous for real. You hear me? <laughs> I'm going to make him that kitten famous, man. But we got to get together, bro. We just, we, we.